Welcome to Babies and Bones. Click to subscribe below. Don't forget to like and comment. Your comments can guide us on what videos we make next. Hi, I'm Dr. Nima. And I'm Dr. Kate, and today we're going to talk about vitamin D and vitamin D deficiency. So in my practice, I put all exclusively breastfed babies and partially breastfed babies on vitamin D supplementation. And I didn't realize how many adults need vitamin D supplementation until Nima and I recently were talking about it, and I realized how many adults are vitamin D deficient. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Yeah, absolutely. So over half of Americans are actually vitamin D deficient and over one billion people in the world have abnormally low vitamin D levels. Even in our athletes, in our NBA players, in our NFL players, uh, the overwhelming majority of them have abnormally low vitamin D levels. And so why is that important? Well, vitamin D plays a role in musculoskeletal health. And so if people have, are vitamin D deficient, they can have more strains, uh, sprains, muscle pulls, muscle aches, as well as upper respiratory infections. In fact, some studies have shown that people who are vitamin D deficient miss more games and practices, uh, as well as uh, there have been several misdiagnoses of patients with things like chronic fatigue syndrome or myalgias, which is a word for like muscle pain, uh, as well as fibromyalgia, uh, when they really just were vitamin D deficient. So vitamin D plays a major role. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So what is the actual definition of vitamin D deficiency? So the definition of vitamin D deficiency is based on a blood test. So you go in, you get a blood test, and you get a level back. If your level is less than 30 nanograms per milliliter, that means you're vitamin D insufficient. And if you're actually less than 20, that means you're vitamin D deficient. Interesting. Yeah. And is there any population of people who are more at risk for vitamin D deficiency That's than actually others? a great question, Kate. Um, people of my skin tones, people of darker skin tones, are at more at risk to be vitamin D deficient. And the reason is, is because it takes more sunlight to activate that vitamin D uh, in their bodies. So it's super important for those people to make sure to see a physician and um, discuss vitamin D levels because they could be at risk for, for things like stress fractures, muscle sprains, and other injuries as well as respiratory, upper respiratory infections. Wow, that's so interesting. Um, so for everybody, and mm -hmm. for those people specifically, how do you get more vitamin D in your body naturally? Yeah, that's a great question. So the, ma the major source of vitamin D is actually sunlight. So getting out in the sun is one of the best things you can do. But besides that, it's, you can uh, eat f uh, fish, you can eat mushrooms, eggs, uh, there's fortified foods, like orange juice now has vitamin D and calcium. Um, so you can get it through nutrition, and if you do have vitamin D levels that are low and you've been tested, supplementation is a way that can help too. Awesome. Hmm? So in conclusion, the big idea is get out in the sun, be active, go play with your kids, lead a very healthy uh, lifestyle that's out in the sun, yeah. eat, uh, try to eat some fish, have some mushrooms, Absolutely. egg yolks, stuff like that, <laughs> that are loaded with vitamin D. Um, and if you're having muscle aches and pains, and or you have bro broken bones, definitely make sure to talk to your doctor about also getting a vitamin D test to see if that's playing any role. Awesome, cool. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Um, I hope you guys learned something today about vitamin D. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, get out in the sun and have some fun. <laughs>